Hi everybody, Lori here. So glad you're joining me today because I got a happy, 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 very happy project. In fact, I'm going to be die cutting the word happy over and over and over again because it's going to be a happy birthday card. One of my favorite types of cards to make are birthday cards because they're just fun and happy. You can do bright colors and you're just bringing joy to all the world on their birthday. How fun is that? And I'm featuring these awesome new alpha dies designed by the one and only Kathy Zilski. And they're called the all caps number one dies. And I love a good die set. I have many and I use them all the time. One of the most, most of the time I use them is for um, my daughter's friends for their birthday cards, even for my sons, my sons and my daughters, all my kids. Let's just say all my kids, whenever they want to make a birthday card for someone, they love it when I put their name on it. And my girls, always want me to put their name on it and somehow turn it into a shaker card. I mean, if it's shaker and the name, they are so happy you could peel them off the ceiling. And kids, like girls at 13, if you put their name on it and make it a shaker card, you just made their whole year, I'm telling you. So for this one, I'm going to die cut the word happy repeatedly on an angle because I'm snazzy and jazzy like that. But problem with alpha dies are... A lot of times the words you want to use have repeated letters. So for happy, there's two P's. So I had to get a little creative. You got to run it through twice. Once with the hap, hap, hap. And the second time with the P, P, P for lack of a better term. And I'm often tempted to buy two of the alpha die sets. So that way you could have two letters. But they're just, usually they're a little bit more on the expensive side. So I, I never have bought two. But it would be cool to have like, you know, when you die cut the word hello, there's two L's and happy, there's two P's. You get where I'm going. Anyway, so I'm die cutting these all through repeatedly on a panel of Nina Solar White. Now behind, of course, you know me, I got to do some ink blending. This is where you bring in the color. And so I knew I wanted to blend a whole panel. And when I want to cover a big area, I pull out the distress oxides because I got to tell you, I don't even know why they call it ink blending because when you're using distress oxides, it's more like ink smearing. It's like smearing frosting on a cake. They're so forgiving. They're so juicy and just smearable. And I can't do a card without twisted citron. So I use salty ocean, peacock feathers, cracked pistachio, and then I finished off the top with twisted citron and i'm telling you blending the colors together mixing them you just go back and forth a couple times and it's like room temperature butter i wanted to go a little bit darker on the bottom so i brought in some faded jeans color it's a darker blue and i just went back and forth with the faded jeans and the salty ocean and it's just like it just rocks my world how easy it is to smear these on a whole panel by the way this is bristol paper which I'm on a kick right now. Actually, the reason I'm on a kick is because I ran out of the Distress Watercolor cardstock. I ran out of it, got to go get some more. But in the meantime, I've been using my Bristol paper and I love it. And then I flicked on some flicks of water. I know a lot of people, they're getting sick of the flicks, you know, but I'm just not there yet. And I probably will get sick of it, but until I am, I'm going to keep on flicking away. And then I'm going to emboss a coordinating sentiment. This is from the Birthday Palooza stamp set, also designed by Kathy Zilski. I just love her stuff. What can I say? I love it. So I embossed this in white on a strip of black. I'm using Simus' stamp embossing powder. They're my favorites. I'm telling you, you get great detail. This one, I'm going to emboss the cake, also from the Birthday Palooza. So I used white on the sentiment. And this one, I'm embossing in clear. And I love the Simon's Stamp Embossing Powders. I get great results with it. Always got to rub your thing down with the Magic Powder Bag, though. Or whatever type of powder tool you use, it's must. And then for the cake, I'm going to do a little Emboss Resist. So since I did the dark blue, uh, you know, blues to greens on the background, I had to bring in some red, orange, and yellow. You, gotta, you just got to like sneak a little rainbow in there whenever you can. And I blended that in candied apple, spiced marmalade, and squeezed lemonade i use the coordinating die to die cut that cake i'm going to start assembling everything putting some tape runner on my car base adhering the blended background and now i popped up this happy panel i'm not even going to tell you how long it took me to put slivers of foam tape on the back but it's all worth it if you ask me and i'll pop up the cake 
pop up the sentiment strip. We're popped and locked, ready to embellish. Putting on some sparkling clear sequins. I got the three different sizes using glossy accents. And this card is finished. Look it. Is this not happy, happy, happy? Colorful, fun, going to bring joy to all the world on their birthday. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.